we bring the Gambian giant rats from Africa to sniff out the landmines in Cambodia. There is um, uh, two million landmines spread out in Cambodia. 200 to 300 people got injured by landmines and USOs every year. These rats look similar to the rats we know. The difference is that these are wild rats. They are not the rats that are used to be in our houses. So they are bigger than the normal rats that we know. The rats are faster than a human. Why are they faster? Because the rats are only going for TNT smell. And the human, using his metal detector, he is going for all kind of metals. So 5 by 20 meters box, if you the rats, the rat can finish the box 16 minutes to 25 minutes only. And if we use the manual mine detector, they can take two days or three days to finish that. Just leave your rat, indicate freely for quite some time, and then you click. The dog, we can tell a dog to sit, it can sit. We tell a dog to go, it can go. But a rat, a rat cannot understand all those kind of things. So we only communicate with them by using a clicker. When the rat smells TNT, it starts to scratch, and then the handler have to click and give food to the rats. When they start to scratch, I, I feel very, very emotion like that. Ooh, very, 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 very exciting. Uh, they don't know who, uh, who is who. They don't know. They know only the click and food. <laughs> now I'm attached to the rats. If I see, for instance, a rat on, on the road is heated by a car, then it pains me a lot. They, they laugh like his brother or her sister. Some, uh, sometimes they uh, carry like his, her baby or his baby. As we know that landmines are dangerous for our lives. If our rats are able to discover landmines, then they save lives. I hope that in the future, people of Cambodia will get enough land to, to farm and their, their life will be better off.